go, Nichiwa Mina, this is occurring. You're watching Pocketcast. Today's Tim and First Person video is going to be on a PlayStation 1 game, and that is The Bombing Islands. <clears throat> Alright, so this game is one player and has no save features. Hmm, going to be a little hard. Password feature! Woohoo! Ah, uh, good old day. Wait. <laughs> Anyway, this is a puzzle game, and that's about as much as I know. You're supposed to move bombs around, blow the crap out of everything else, and somehow survive. Alright, as always, Tim has played the game first and played the game of the version of, and I can't skip anything. Let's get that timer started. Timer's been started, and away we go. Oh wow, it keeps the Japanese uh, button configuration. Hmm. Here we have the island! And this man running around the screen. We'll be going to this place, apparently. Okay, so... I wouldn't mind a tutorial. You know, I have no... Stage one. Blow up everything and survive. Gotcha. That makes it nice to understand. Okay. So, light and run away. Gotcha. Okay. Clear. Oh, so that must be the password. I like that idea. I mean, if you're playing as a clown, why not, you know? Okay, next stage. I'm so confused, so do I have to at least be a block away for it to not blow up from me? Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so use R1 and L1 to do that. Okay. Yeah, apparently wherever you are, as long as you're not in the blast radius, only that place survives. Okay. Clever. Okay, so those bombs explode outward. So I got to be... Ooh. Oh, wait. What did I do wrong? Oh, I think I figured out what I did wrong. Let's see if I'm right about that. Okay, so the twos are to go out. I messed up. Hmm. Okay, so I have to go the other way. Hmm. Okay, so the only other way to do is push this one down here. Do I have a run button? 
No run button. But That's when I messed up. Okay. Gotcha. Clever. I can see where this is going to get really hard really fast. Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking. So, depending on the number on the bomb is depending on how big it's going to explode. For that makes me wonder... Let's... Test it. Okay, two of them didn't make it, so I had to move the bomb over. Hmm. Okay, so it goes out from the center up. Okay. Which means the only way I can do that is I have to move it slightly over... Move it like that. Should move the bomb out of the way. Only thing I can think of to do is do that. And... <laughs> nope. Okay. This is only like, what is this, level 3? Level 4? Level 4, and I'm already having problems. Huh. Wow. Okay. Move you a little bit down. Oh yeah, a way I can think of to get it to work. Nope. That was even worse than before. Crap. Okay, I think I figured it out. I had them too close. Maybe I should do my diagonal. I don't know if that would work, though. Let's see what this does. Nothing. That was actually the worst one yet, so I can't do that. I have to keep them closer. Okay, if I detonate it like this, the two on the end won't survive, so...
I think I just messed that up. There goes the timer. Huh. Wow. That's impressive. And I am at a complete loss at the moment. And it's taking me a wee bit to figure it out. I can see the explosion pattern right there. But I'm just not getting it. Huh. Okay, well... It's a fun puzzle game, it really is. Um, graphically, perfect, in my opinion. It just, it, it's exactly what it needs to be. And that, I think, is great. Um, I like the idea of taking some inspiration from other games that I played on DOS and other systems to help create this one. Because this is what, you know, it reminds me of kind of those games where you play as a character pushing around the, uh, the boxes around the screen to get to the opening. Kind of reminds me of that. But then they add in bombs, which add a whole other thing of difficulty, because now you have to figure out what you need to do. And I think I just figured it out. Maybe. Don't know. Anyway, I like that, and... I think it's always funny when you find these games that are password driven only. Very clever to do the way how they do the passwords because it makes it, it makes sense with what um, your character looks like. So you know why not? I can like I said I can see this how this game is going to get really hard really fast, and that is definitely going to be difficult as the game goes on. I don't know how many levels there are in here. Uh, let's see if the back says what there is. Uh, let's see. Uh, doesn't say how many levels we have, so who knows how many levels we have. But with everything that we have already seen right here, it's going to get difficult. I, I can't even imagine how difficult more it's going to be. This one right here is already trying me. And I, like I said, I think I figured out where I needed to put him now. But still, it's kind of like, okay, crap, what do I do? You know, type thing. So, very clever. I like what they did with this one. Uh, it's definitely one I would say, pick it up and give it a try. Because this is going to be a fun puzzle game to go through. Um, with these logic puzzles. Love these type of games. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me epically fail on the fourth level repeatedly. This is Tisa Kura saying ciao and sayonara.